and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I am your host, Stephen Colbert, and it has... Oh, you're excited, I'm excited. It's been an exciting week for Donald Trump. Because he is having the best sleepover ever <laughs> with his new bestest buddy, French President Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> They've been together constantly with the shoveling and the holding hands <laughs> and the foreplay. Well, today, Trump's brand new best friend, his cher ami, addressed a joint session of Congress and he reminded everyone assembled of the long history of friendship between our two nations. In 1778, the French philosopher Voltaire and Benjamin Franklin met in Paris. John Adams tells the story that after they had shaken hands, they embraced each other by hugging one another in their arms and kissing each other's cheeks. It can remind you something. <laughs> yes, it can. Reminds me that Ben Franklin would bone anything that moves. <laughs> yeah. And Voltaire was a cheap date. But then the speech took a shockingly honest turn when he threw shade at Trump's America First policy. We can choose isolationism, withdrawal, and nationalism. This is an option. It can be tempting to us as a temporary remedy to our fears. But closing the door to the world will not stop the evolution of the world. It will not douse but inflame the fears of our citizens. Does that stang, Donald? <laughs> Somebody call a French ambulance to take you to Le Burn Ward. <laughs> And... Two of them. And you know how Macron's BFF Trump has repeatedly said that global warming is a fraud? Well, you know what's the real fraud? Their friendship. By polluting the oceans, not mitigating CO2 emissions, and destroying our biodiversity, we are killing our planet. Let us face it. There is no planet B. Uh, yes, there is. <laughs> it's called Mars, and Elon Musk is going to fly us there, and we will all be eating Matt Damon's poop potatoes. <laughs> okay? Mr. Whip! Wake up, Mr. Whip! Potatoes. <laughs> uh, le <laughs> pomme de terre. <laughs> but Macron was optimistic that eventually America would join the rest of the world in fighting climate change. I'm sure one day the United States will come back and join the Paris Agreement. Yes, one day every American will believe in global warming from the shores of Colorado all the way to the beaches of Missouri. <laughs> from sea to shining... I don't know about this shining sea. And you know how the Iran deal is the worst of all time? <laughs> well, guess who likes it? There is an existing framework called the JCPOA to control the nuclear activity of Iran. We signed it both the United States and France. That is why we cannot say we should get rid of it like that. France will not leave the JCPOA. Because we signed it. Oh, honey. <laughs> you think just because America signed something, we won't leave it? Why don't you talk that over with First Lady Ivana Trump? <laughs> this is a true, true betrayal of Trump because last night, Macron and his wife attended Trump's first ever state dinner at the White House. First Lady Melania Trump planned the entire evening and it looked magical. Congratulations, Madam First Lady. She's getting rave reviews, specifically from our raving president, who tweeted, that 
at FLOTUS did a spectacular job hosting the president of France at Emmanuel Macron and his wife, Brigitte. Every detail was done to perfection. The state dining room never looked more beautiful. And Washington is a buzz over <laughs> what an incredible job Melania did. It's one. <laughs> Melania fans. I'll say this, it is, it is one of the things that Washington is a buzz about right now. Did you hear? Trump's under criminal investigation for collaborating with Russia. They raided his lawyer's office. Now his lawyer might flip on him. And did you see those centerpieces at the dinner? It was kind of nice. <laughs> but uh, the evening was beautiful. It was a smashing success. And critics are praising Melania for including inspiration from French culture, including the menu which consisted of American cuisine with a French twist, as well as her gown, which came from that most French of all fashion houses, Chanel. Meanwhile, Donald Trump paid tribute to French culture with his love of casual adultery. Really? Speaking... Really? The heart wants what it wants. The heart wants what it wants.